This is a math glass, sometimes called a fraction bath glass. It shows halves, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, twelfths, and one final bar with ten parts, labeled with tenths on the left side and percents on the right side. I'd like to have one of you pour liquid in until you have half a glass. One half. Uh, I like the way you're doing it. Turn the glass until you see the one half mark. Yes. And you fill, the, you fill it up to the one half mark. Put your hand up if you have your glass filled up to the one half mark. Okay. There's just, there's just one of the two people now, because the other person can do something different. Okay, you've got the one half, you've got one half. Who's doing the, you're doing the one half over here? Alex, are you the one half? Now, these people are very careful about pouring. Yeah, they're being careful. Yeah. Very good. Okay, right on the money, one half. Now, one half is also the same as two fourths, right? Right on the glass. One half and two fourths have the same level. Three six. You can see on the glasses that three six and one half also have the same level. Now listen carefully. I want the other person, I want the other person to find the one third, one pound out of three, and fill my glass up to the one third max. So that's Aaron, that's Matthew, okay. that's Mar. That's the other Brandy. person find the one third. Very carefully fill the glass up to just one third. Austin and Isabella. Okay, Austin and Isabella will say have each quart a drink. One of them has a glass that's half full, and Austin has a glass. We'll say the other person has a glass that's a third full, right? One third full. Now let's suppose that they combine these two, what fraction of a glass would they have? Before you do that, does anyone have any idea what it would be? What do you think it might be? One hole. What? One hole? You think if you add a third and a half, you get a hole? Oh, wait, no. Huh? No. Because we know a third is less than a half, right? Okay. Okay. Well, what do you think? Three-fourths? Okay, well, we're going to now show this. Mathematically, you're going to show this. You're going to pour one glass. Now, it doesn't matter whether you pour the third into the half or the half into the third, okay? You can just, and then you can look at the glass and tell me how high the uh, liquid goes. Pour it all into one. Yes, you said two. Nope, nope, nope. Go ahead. Pour it into one. You guys move. All of it. Okay, once you get it going, now you get to the glass. And see if you can read off. You might have to turn it around. You might have to turn it around. You might have to turn it around. Great, perfect. Good job, Matthew. Now, what does it measure up to be? Read it? Uh, let me. Yeah. I, I want to do it. Three, four. Uh -huh. You can do it together, you both. Together. Uh -huh. This is a fifth. Subtraction, there's multiplication, and there's division. Right? 
We've just, which operation did we just do by pouring the, the two of these together? We did addition. So we've got a half plus a third. Now we're going to do subtraction. Yeah. Believe it or not, you can do subtraction with this. We want to fill one glass up until it is 7 out of 12. Pass full. Somebody is very thirsty, they pour themselves a drink that fills 7 out of 12 in their glass, right? Mm -hmm. Now, that cat is very thirsty too, we'll see, and they're going to give that cat something to drink. Now, every day that cat likes to drink one third of a glass, okay? So if we take 7 twelfths and we take one third away, we need to find out how much is left, right? Now we can find that out by taking that 7 12 glass and pouring it into the empty glass until it's one third full, right? And seeing how much we have left. Yeah. And then see what's left in that 7 12 glass. All the way. Okay. Very good. Three twelfths. Okay, you got three twelfths left. Three twelfths of a glass is left. Three twelfths should be one fourth. And you are exactly right. You're figuring that out ahead of time. 3 twelfths and 1 fourth have the same level, so their fractions are equal. Let's write down what we just learned. We've got 7 twelfths, 1 twelfths take away 1 third. Well, 1 third is the same as 4 twelfths. We're going to have 3 twelfths left. You can see that right on your glass that 3 twelfths equals 1 fourth. We've done addition, we've done subtraction using the glasses. So we can do a lot of other things, but you know what? We're out of time. So, 